What's up everybody? How are you doing? I hope Mukosawa. Now today is International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. I already say that, but it marks 16 days of, you know, activism where we have to remind you because over 5,000 rape cases in Kenya are during the COVID uh, season and uh, I mean the COVID uh, period and Ministry of Health in Asema, there's 7% increase in the number of violence against women since like that's much up all the way to June and most of them are underage girls so this is me reminding you to be very wary of your environment so welcome to the show I am Nana Witi. Hi guys how are you guys doing this evening I don't know I was caught Dubai like that <laughs> good evening beautiful people welcome back <laughs> we have some very nice interesting tea focused uh, for her, for you guys I don't know why I'm not focused today but here we are. We, we are here. And of course, happy hump day. I even forgot. Happy hump day, guys. Let us know where you are watching us from on our social media pages. Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And Switch TV KE on Instagram. I am Joyce Maina. Yes, welcome everybody. Hashtag Black Wednesday. Hashtag Wanawake Wednesday. Hashtag Leona. I'm to Wanawake Mtuangu. The right man for you. It's not going to bring confusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. No confusion. Amen. But us will confuse you today. Yeah. On chat <laughs> spot. Na kwa mbele kile mtu amepiga luku ni. Eh, okay. Eh, hapa tuko na eh touch of black. Hapo na touch of black. At least I am not Ukamba lazima. Eh, ukutini. I'm here to post for you how I'm fagilia ingo. You. Fagilia kabisa. Fagilia yote. Mtu leo na wafagilia by the way, like literally by the way. Fagilia, fagilia. Caption oh. yangu by the way. <laughs> it's a girl who's crazy. Karibu ni sana. No. Eh. Hey. Is it me ama isi kui mekimbia? Sana. As in for real. Sana. Na si, like week. Hii week ya nyewe. Hey, it's Wednesday. 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 Hii mwake imeisha. Hii month. <laughs> so for 26. Imagine. Kai. 27, 28, 29. Yani next week kama sasa itakuwa December by Anyway just going to blink. Eh tuta blink and it will be December. Yeah. The 2021 ndio hiyo. Kusi next week next month. Next month by the way after kesho tuona ni kesho kesho kutwa by the way tuona ne it's a wrap. December by the way. Eh. Hey. Sawa. We hold fort for you. We will you don't worry about it. Alafu after hiyo no 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 I say lini 2021. Aya by the way. What? Just like that. Just like that. Just at the, the blink yeah. of an eye. Manze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, well, you know as usual we have hot uh, trending topics mm -hmm. lined up for you, so let's get to it. Yes, and who's in the kitchen? Just me. Kitchen. Ka kashai. Yes, so mm, <laughs> let me get right to it. So we all know um King Kala. King, how have I said, Kalala, Kalala. King, mm -hmm. King Kalala, right? Yes. Um, she's a very bold, opinionated, and not afraid to say how she feels, kind of person, right? So recently, she posted a video, um, or rather, her co, her colleague, um, Rida Yvonne, posted um, a video of her showing, you know, her flat tummy and saying, you know, that it takes time, and I mean, it takes work. And King Kala joined her and lifted her shirt, showing that she also has a tiny flat. Um, snatched waist, but then she ended the video by saying that fat people are careless AF, what? and that was not taken nicely by netizens. Obviously, what to pale kwa Edgar Lienda kumsema, and yeah, b generally people are not happy about it because she makes it sound like um you have to being skinny is healthy or good or like whatever. She made f uh, I don't know what to say fat. Like, yeah, she was body shaming basically, mm. and people are not happy about that. Oh yeah, yeah, there's the video. I mean, yeah, let's see the video. Oh. <laughs> it's not easy, Kalala. Tell them. Fat people are careless as <laughs> All I'm saying is having a small waist is not easy, Kalala. Tell them. Fat people are careless as <laughs> God. Wow. Kalala. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know why at some point in a kind intentional, like you did it knowing what you're saying. So but that girl mouths off a lot. Exactly. Mm. And I'm like, like I said, wait, Nyako. Yeah, like you and you, you, the fact that you're skinny. I don't what know. What can be skinny is, is being careless. Huh? He's being sick. Yeah. I'm He's a being sick. You get. Yeah, like at the end of the day, I feel like for someone like you with the platform that exactly. you have, that was so wrong. Even man. the people you sent you that, not just skinny people. It's not. Like, that's sometimes rude. filter your mouth. It's or rude. you just sh yeah. keep Shut quiet. Up. <laughs> like, how do you, Shut the... Yeah. There's someone 
that day hiyo ulikuwa live ama whatever mm. yeah. alikuwa na kuwatch and alikuwa na dem buyer because kuna msia alimwambia we ni mnono mzuri yeah. unaloka or you know the way things what what were blunt with these things mm. and then akakuwatch wewe uka uka like uka like cab stamp you know like so yeah. oh, man, what oh, have yeah. you done to this one person oh, and like, destroy forever yeah. like the, you have to be careful especially with a platform like this mm. you have to be careful who you talk to because again people who follow you are not only thin Yeah. Not fat people, not fat, but they have weight. All yeah, all like, shapes and sizes. Yeah. And I'm like who said? No, no. Being skinny, skinny is good. Eh, as in eh, I'm saying fat people are careless. Who What said being skinny, skinny means you're careful? Man. Who said <laughs> being skinny I'm a being fat, I'm yeah. a being plus size is beautiful. Who told you to define are you the dictionary? Are you Jesus? Are you Man. Lord? You are not. So your opinion if you tafadhali furahia mwili yako peke yako you don't have to bring your opinion as in she was that was rude that was yeah. yeah as in it's yeah. just that was Dimi rude i hope she i hope she apologizes yeah i hope she apologizes like, you, you can't just pull at it see, being fat you're, you're careless you're careless au na sliding you unaanguka kwa chakula and the thing is with, the thing is with king kala i like her boldness how she talks about things that other women don't talk about yeah. so i'm very disappointed honestly as a fan mm. i'm disappointed i hope she apologizes i hope she does yeah let me take you to the next story and it's about our very own socialite Ambare. I don't know when you guys found out about Ambare but she has this very ke- like she da- she has this lifestyle, freestyle lifestyle, mm. you know, like she's full of of course she doesn't take um is on no nonsense. She's a no nonsense pa- kind of a person and there's this time uh, there's a video go- do- doing rounds on social media about her being at a witch doctor's uh, shrine and she said it was um a movie that was being shot and guys have been like okay it's been over two years so where what happened he mm. movie kwani haitokangi <laughs> but anyway we we know we had stories of them having dated with mauzo brown mauzo mm. and i think they broke up but right now she seems allegedly is dating some uh tycoon called Jamal Rohsafi who actually has i think two wives no. but he seems to have a lot of money to make sure he can take care of Ambare yeah. it's a legend this story G- guys and eh Rohsafi anaitwa Jamal Rohsafi na anaka kwa na do by the way okay. Rohsafi ni jina yake I, i don't know of course i'm in social media, media. Yeah, yeah, social media. Yeah. Social media. Yeah. i just never understood mm-hmm. this funny funny social media names yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, i got jina yako maze yeah but anyway So oil kwa ngani ni news news I'm like oh eh, yeah uh, we ndio potea pote <laughs> oh, the shrine the movie <laughs> Um wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. So I said kwa nasema apparently she seeks those witch doctors so that she know, can attract she, rich she men. She can attract she can bug rich men but of course she has remained very very unbothered about the, this situation. Mm. She's not addressed mm. it. She said it's a movie so we stick she sticks with that and so who are we? Ah yeah, let's wait for that movie then. <laughs> eh nakwambia hata wewe unaweza enda kwa shrines too. <laughs> ufanya <laughs> 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 So um okay this is not even a funny story. Meghan Markle was um recently um having an interview and she came out to say that back in July this year she had a miscarriage. The same time she was like trying to change um Archie's they're called what diapers and you know ile kuangalia mtoto Archie's their first child with mm-hmm. Prince Harry. Yeah. So kidogo akasikia very sharp uh pain mm-hmm. kwa tummy yake. Not really the tummy but you know abdomen. The, wanawake mnaelewa ile uchungia kama kuna cramps the way you feel some yeah funny funny pains so she felt something very sharp and she dropped the floor she was still holding Archie and it was so unfortunate because in her head she was like you know she just held her son 
but she just lost her second baby like ilikuwa kwa kichwa yake alikonga shaiona like whatever is happening inside yeah. siki to poor oh, so no. she just you know came out and talked about that and also on top of that she was adding the fact that back in 20 um 19 mm-hmm. she was unaona vile kuna kongana list ya watu wana trend yeah yali kongana top kwa list ya kutrolliwa dunia mzima The, the fact that she was being trolled by everyone you know that time when they decided to leave the yeah, um, yeah, the yeah. Nidaisi dynasty it's called what I don't know the, the royal, royal, yeah, royal yeah, yeah, yeah the royalty Monarchy. home Monarchy, and yeah. you know go and uh, go and hustle while kivyao wajitengeneze mm. mm. she was like the the fast kwa trending yet tro- being the people are being trolled, trolled in 2019 the and the, the funny thing is um she was on maternity leave for like almost eight months yeah, nine okay. months hakuna mtu amemwona but she was trending co- and she was being she was being trolled and she was talking about the fact that she's been having you know mental health issues because easy vitu zilikuwa zinamu affect unajua no one is seeing you yeah, for eight yeah. months but they feel like they have an opinion about your life mm. what you're doing and everything that's going that's on really with sad. you so it's just so sad like um i think it's something they're still working through the healing process mm. but it happened back in july yeah mm. so alikuwa toa minyama zia but you know finally she decided to just address it so Oh, it's not even good news but anyway yeah, mungu really mengi ya binadamu machache yeah so we need to be kind kinder to vile mimi nasema anga you don't know what someone is facing you don't know what they are going through you don't know their journeys just because you think you know their destination au jui hapa katikati what really happened so we need to be really kind and especially if you ni mseka public figure umjui you don't have to write all those nasty things just you know like just go usi endelea to scroll kwa the next <laughs> Come on you know nice and kind say, don't yeah. say it. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be a song we used to sing as children where it says if you can't say something nice then then t- don't talk at all is my advice. Don't talk. Uh-huh. If you don't have anything nice to say. You don't have to have an opinion of like everything you can have. get. The only thing you can be sure about is not even my life. Hata mimi sijui kwa my sure juu ya maisha yao. But maisha yangu una get. The only opinion unafa kwa nani ya life yako is your life, you know. Mm. Is your life have an opinion concerning your life. I can't believe you guys don't know that song. Yeah. M- no, we don't. Don't. You don't know that song. No. Gossip, gossip, evil things. Wait, hey. what? Much and happiness it brings. Oh my god. Group of schools mna journey. And yeah, we sisi atujuitli. Hata hii hata mtoto wangu ya yako anajua hiyo. Kama bachako ndio bana. Well, I did go to a predominantly Indian um kindergarten. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Of course. Yeah, we are not even shocked. Makes sense. Twende tu, twende ni kwa life sport wa say tukiambiwa ikawimbo. Yeah. 